Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a how-to for Apple Music Lossless Audio, Apple Music Dolby Atmos, and also Apple's Spatial Audio. So to get started, I do want to give you guys a disclaimer. If you do not have the AirPods Pro, the AirPods Max, or select Beats products, you won't be able to use spatial audio, but you'll be able to use everything else. Second disclaimer, lossless audio is only available if you have headphones that are directly connected into your phone. Headphones that stream over Bluetooth do not support lossless audio. While it will compress the lossless audio, you may have better sound. If you have a very, very sensitive ear to different sounds, you may notice different sounds that are richer or more clear, but it won't actually stream in 100% lossless unless you have this, the specified headphones connected. And also you would have to have a digital, digital audio converter and a whole bunch of extra stuff if you wanted to have the highest quality of lossless. So to get started, you're going to want to go ahead and open up the settings application. Once you're in settings, you're going to go ahead and scroll down. You'll see an option that says music. Go ahead and tap on music. And in music, you'll see these options here. So it says Dolby Atmos, audio quality, EQ, sound check. To turn on Dolby Atmos, you're just going to tap on Dolby Atmos and you can either select automatic, automatic will play in Dolby Atmos and other Dolby audio formats whenever connected to capable outputs like AirPods, AirPods Pro, AirPods Max. When spatial audio is turned on for AirPods Pro and AirPods Max and supported Beats headphones or Apple devices. One thing I do want to note is that they do put AirPods in here, so AirPods may support spatial audio in the future, but we're waiting for Apple to decide if they're going to do that or not. So if they do support it in the future, I'll definitely give you guys an update of how to enable that. So you're going to go ahead and select either automatic or always on. I like to leave mine on automatic, just that way it can do it automatically and I don't force it to be on everything because some Dolby Atmos tracks don't sound good in Dolby Atmos, surprisingly enough. Um, some of them do. It just depends on how the, how the studio that actually recorded the songs or the producer, how they decide to go back and remaster the track in Dolby Atmos. Because a lot of stuff wasn't built in Dolby Atmos, they had to go back and remaster it. So then you're going to want to go to audio quality. This is how we're going to get to the lossless audio setting. By default, the audio quality streams in high efficiency, and over cellular, it also streams in high efficiency. High efficiency is HE-AAC, which is low data usage. It prevents large amounts of data being downloaded um, over Wi-Fi and cellular. <clears throat> and the reason why this would be important is really if you have a limited data plan. If you're limited on data, I suggest keeping high efficiency. But we can actually take a look at the lossless audio settings here. So of course, cellular streaming, I have an unlimited data plan, so I'm gonna go ahead and move mine to lossless. If you do not have an unlimited data plan, you may wanna just do high quality, which is AAC 256. Just because you really don't wanna go over it. Lossless uses a lot of data. And I'll show you in just a mo moment about the amount of data it uses. So then um, for Wi-Fi streaming on Wi-Fi, as long as you have an unlimited wireless plan at home or, you know, you're in a public hotspot or something, I would go ahead and select it to go ahead and go on high resolution lossless. You might as well. And the same thing for downloads. Now, as an example, I'm going to show you how much data, which you may already see, lossless uses lossless uses about 33 gigabytes of data for a playlist and it's just because these are all uncompressed songs so this is how they were built when they were in the studio 
and that's why it uses so much data but honestly in my opinion i do have a slight hearing difference of lossless compared to the high efficiency and the aac versions some people may not realize it because really about 80 percent of people say that they hear a difference but don't actually hear a difference while the other percent of people actually do hear a difference it really just depends i think for me it's just because i handle a lot of audio stuff and then i also produce music myself so i think that's maybe why i might hear different things but i don't know all to their own <laughs> so moving on i'm going to show you guys how to enable spatial audio so if you take your AirPods Pro, AirPods Max, you want to have them connected, and to do so you either put your AirPods Pro in your ear, or if you have your AirPods Max, you just put it on your head and it'll connect. Once they are connected, you're going to go ahead and swipe down from the right side of your screen, and you're going to go ahead and let me just connect mine really quick. All right, there we go. All right, so once they are connected, if you wanna turn spatial audio on or off, as long as your AirPods have been updated to the newest firmware, so if you just bought AirPods, you may not see the feature just yet. You'll have to leave your AirPods plugged in near your iPhone that's also plugged in to allow the firmware update to automatically happen. You cannot manually update it. Once they are updated though to the latest firmware, you're gonna put your AirPods in your ears, swipe down from the right side of your screen to open the control center. You're gonna press and hold on the AirPods audio and then you'll have an option that says spatial audio. One thing to note is you do have to have music playing. So I'm just gonna play some music real quick so I can show you. Once the music is actually playing, you'll see that there's an option that says spatialized stereo. And if it's off, it'll just say off. But if you turn it on, then it turns spatial audio on, which then you have the ability to have that immersive 3D experience that Apple's created, where when you move your head to the left or to the right, the music moves with you, along with the vocals, which is pretty amazing, while some of it kind of sits in the background. So... This feature on with Dolby Atmos are the two most important features um, that a lot of people are looking at right now in regards to Apple Music. It's literally what's gotten them to be so pop popular right now. Additionally, one thing I also want to mention is Dolby Atmos is not available for every song. So, as you can see, these say now in spatial audio, these songs have either been newly produced or if they're older songs, they've been remastered in Dolby Atmos. And the reason why I say that is because they have to be remastered for Dolby Atmos because they were built in just a standard studio version. Dolby Atmos is a 3D sound experience that basically it's a 3D, virtual 3D room and in the studio, they arrange the sounds in the 3D studio room and then when it's actually um, finalized in the production stage, then you'll hear this 3D experience no matter what headphones you're using. So I'm going to show you as an example, this is Billie Eilish's new album. Um, if you go to her album, you'll see that like this song is in Dolby Atmos. And it actually says it right here. It says Dolby Atmos. Compared to if you go to some other artists. Let me see if I can find an example. I think hers isn't in Dolby Atmos. Okay, so let's check here. So, for instance, if you go here, this one is not in Dolby Atmos. And you can see because the little badge changes. Now it says lossless. It doesn't say Dolby Atmos anymore. And if you tap on it, it'll also tell you what lossless it's currently streaming in. And then if you tap audio quality settings, of course, it'll take you into your audio quality settings. But it's really important to know because some songs, people will think that they're in Dolby Atmos, but they may not realize that it's not. And some people may mistaken these different features. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for if it's in Dolby Atmos or lossless or actually currently playing in that, it'll show right um, above the play button. 
And then additionally, some albums are still being built in Dolby Atmos. So as you can see, if we go back to Billie Eilish's album, um, hers doesn't say Dolby Atmos yet. So hers just says Lossless and the Apple Digital Master. Compared to if we go to Ariana Grande's album, all of her stuff is in Dolby Atmos. So if you go to her album, Positions, you can see it says Dolby Atmos. And if you tap on these up here, it'll actually explain to you. Dolby Atmos is an immersive audio experience that surrounds you with sound from all sides, including above. So that is the difference with those. And that is how you enable um, Dolby Atmos, spatial audio, and lossless audio. I hope that you guys liked this quick tutorial. Um, if you did, make sure you guys thumbs this video up. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel for more. And as I have been mentioning on my last few videos, I did produce some soundtracks for my YouTube channel. If you like the soundtracks, check them out. There is a link in, this, in the description box below for my distribution link. You can actually stream it on all streaming platforms. It would be greatly appreciated if you guys check it out. Other than that, I hope to see you guys on the next YouTube video.